It sounded good. Do you want them to count off so we can do the Jared and Alex in the morning thing? If you want to. Yeah. Count back. Give us a three, two, one. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Jared and Alex in the morning. <laughs> I'm Jared Spagnola. I do marketing at John Owen Services. And I'm Alex and I handle estimating. Nice. Alex, the other day we were having a conversation and I was really curious about heat pumps, both ducted and ductless. And you actually told me both of these systems can be combined in, in one outdoor unit, correct? It can, yeah, yeah. So we, we can do... We can do a lot of different setups with uh, Mitsubishi heat pumps, and I think a lot of people are not aware of just just the the amazing variety and uh, combinations that we can do. Mm -hmm. um, we can really fit a system to just about any house that'll work. Um, so a lot of people just think that mini splits are those wall units that you see at your Airbnb, um, but they come in all kinds of flavors. Um, mm -hmm. So if, if you don't like the look of them, well, they come in different colors, uh, they come in different styles. Some are low on the wall. Like a, like a radiator? Yeah, exactly. More like, a, like an old school radiator. Awesome. Um, okay. Yeah, and, and those are really nice if you've got, um, if for some reason your eye is always drawn high up and, and the aesthetics of a high wall unit um, don't jibe with your style, then the low wall one can work well for you there. Okay. Or, or if you've got um, sometimes a Victorian style houses will have details on the ceiling, maybe a curved ceiling wall connection where, where it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. A whole uh, a low wall one will do quite well. Yeah, and they have that almost rustic look to them. It feels like right. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. I feel like they a more of a classic look if that if that's what you're into. Yeah. Uh, personally, I prefer the high wall because um, then it leaves me free to move my furniture anywhere I want. Good point. But um, everybody's different and everybody's got their own aesthetic style, and we can we can work around that. And if you don't like either of those, I've got an option for that too. A third, huh? Yeah, wow. yeah. We got a third one. What is that one? The third one is called a ceiling cassette. Okay. So that one will be recessed completely in the ceiling, and the only thing you will see is a grill. Wow. It, it's a large grill, but uh, it only protrudes down from the ceiling about three quarters of an inch. Is the ceiling unit uh, ductless or ducted? It's that would be uh, a ductless. A ductless. So same okay. as the wall unit, just a different form factor. Awesome. Yeah. And beyond that, then we go into the ducted system. Yep. So here's another one that a lot of people haven't heard about is that you can get uh, mini splits can be ducted. So we can swap out your gas furnace and put in uh, uh, an equivalent, which is called an air handler. Mm -hmm. And it would still be connected to the same mini split system, same high technology, same efficiency outdoor unit. And then we can get into systems where we're mixing and matching things. We can have uh, multiple indoor wall units or ceiling units plus a ducted system. Um, and, and sometimes that's what makes most sense for a house. Uh, we can do things like uh, maybe a ducted system downstairs with ducts in your crawl space. And if you don't have an attic upstairs and there's no way to run duct work, we could put mini splits for the upstairs. Yeah. And then you kind of get to reap the benefits of both systems, correct? Yeah, exactly. So then downstairs you get uh, duct work because, you know, you kind of wanted the same temperature there anyway. And uh, upstairs you can have your mini splits, which will give you individual control in each room. Yeah. And this is great if, if different people like different temperatures or maybe, uh, maybe you're only using one of the bedrooms upstairs and the other two are, are basically guest bedrooms at this point, you know, than having mini splits. Is super efficient because you're not heating and cooling those rooms when you're not using them. Yeah, zone control is pretty awesome for providing yeah. home comfort to people. Well, home comfort and and eff efficiency, yeah. right? Right. I mean, what's the point of paying to heat a room if you're not using it, mm -hmm. right? So, so that that's how the mini splits really are are the most efficient. Is because each room gets its own control. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then. You know, I had some people that were interested in possibly getting, you know, even a mini split for their pets in their home, right? Um, they have a cat or something while they're at work and they're, they're wanting to make sure that that cat stays comfortable in these crazy weather that we've been having mm -hmm. these, these past seasons. 
Yeah, so that, that was, that was uh, the, the client I was telling you about is Amy, and she's got these two awesome cats, and, um, and yeah, she said, hey, can I set this up so that I can remotely connect to them and turn it on when it gets too hot, because I worry about my cats. I said, absolutely, we can do that. That's awesome. Yeah, and we can do, um, there's all kinds of different controls options that we can go over at a different time, but uh, yeah, absolutely, it's possible. And yeah. then, as so we, I call it um, pet mode, just like your Tesla, right? Your Tesla <laughs> uh, has a pet mode so that you can go shopping while your pet stays in the car and the pet is uh, uh, in a temperature controlled environment. Yep. And why not give the pets the same thing in the entire house? Agreed. That's yeah. a, it's a great idea. Everyone should be doing that for their house. <laughs> Um, and then I was kind of curious too, we were talking about home comfort, what about indoor air quality? Um, what are the benefits or uh, disadvantages too for either of these units? Yeah, good question. Um, so a ducted system will give us more available options for filtration. Okay. Um, but there's duct, so ducts collect dust. Sure. On, on, but because I can put, if, if air quality uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? If if air quality is your top concern, then replacing the ductwork and installing air scrubbers and, and electronic air filters is probably the way to go. Yeah, and even some kind of monitoring system too. Yeah, we can do a monitoring system that will automatically filter the air and give you reports. Uh, so a ducted system will have a lot more available options. In the mini splits, the ductless mini splits, they, you're more restricted in what you can do. Mm -hmm. So one of the pluses is there's no duct work at all to get dirty. So in a sense, so that that's worked well for people with with allergies and um, and uh, just breathing problems in general because eliminating the duct work can eliminate a lot of the dust. Do you still have to clean those units? Um, they they have a filter built into them, and mm -hmm. the filter lasts for the life of the product, and you just wash it, dry it, put it back in. So you should wash and dry that filter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, depending on how much you use your system, every month to every three months. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and, and we can also put ionization on those systems, which will help remove some dust. Okay. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Um, well, it sounds like we have a lot of different options and uh, choices between indoor ductless or ducted systems and you can even combine the two if that works best for you um thank you for all this great information alex yeah awesome and you know if ever you want me to install a super system give me a call i'll come to your house and i'll, I'll come up with an awesome plan i'm calling you first <laughs> thank you